right, on today's video, we are back at the range and today we are gonna be testing out the Phoenix GL19R. This was sent to the channel by Phoenix. If you have not watched the video before this, we did an unboxing video of this light. We went over all the specs of it, the lumens, how to charge it. We went over all that in that video. If you haven't watched it, go back and check that out. I will link it in the description below. Now the gun we're gonna be testing this on today is the Walther PDP Pro, but we also brought out the Taurus G3 Tactical. We're shooting another video with it today, and we're gonna run the light on that while we're shooting that video. And we're also gonna put it on the Glock 40 and just see if this light can hold up to the difference in the recoil between nine millimeter and 10 millimeter. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why is he doing a light video during the day? Well, we're just gonna be testing this out in the daylight. We're gonna turn it on, make sure it holds up throughout today. And then tonight, Devin and I from Spectre Solutions, we are gonna be rolling into Jesse's private range tonight to do a night shoot. And we're gonna get some pretty cool footage shooting this after dark. All right, that's enough talking. Let's start this review and have some fun. All right, we got a target set up down there at 10 yards. We're just gonna shoot a 10 shot group. Just got some Winchester white box loaded up in here. Let's see how it does. All right, that was a terrible group. That was my first group of the day, so let's hope it gets a little better. All right, we got 10 more rounds loaded up. We're gonna shoot the top left. So hopefully this will go a little better than the last group. All right. I'd say that's a lot better. All right, light's still on. So far, so good. All right, we got 10 rounds loaded up in the Glock 40. Let's see how she does with 10 millimeter. All right, still on. All right, we got 10 more rounds loaded up. Bottom left target. Ran them all, and the light is still on. Jesse's range. We've shot nice shooting videos out here before. Luckily, he let us come back out to shoot another one. I'm out here with Devin from Spectre Solutions, and uh, we are going to be testing out the Phoenix GL19R. All right, it's after dark now. We are going to be running the PDP Pro suppressed just so we don't drive Jesse's neighbors nuts. All right, let's compare these two lights. So we've got the Phoenix GL19R on my left and the Surefire X300 on the right. These are both pretty close. 
the Phoenix has just a little bit of a whiter light. All right, now we got the Phoenix GL19R on my left and the Streamlight TLR1HL on the right. And the Phoenix definitely has the Streamlight beat. My final thoughts on the Phoenix GL19R. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I absolutely love this light. It's very easy for me to turn it on and turn it off without breaking the grip on the PDP Pro. And it held up fine to the Glock 40. And it held up to hundreds of rounds on this and, you know, about 100 rounds on the Taurus G3 Tactical. One of the big things that people talk about and the reason they don't run Phoenix lights on their guns is holster availability. Now we went over this in the unboxing video and this holster is my works holster for my Walther PDP Pro, but it's made for the Streamlight TLR1 HL. Now on their website, it says if you have a holster made for the Streamlight or the Surefire X300, you can use that holster for the GL19R. And as you can see here, it works perfect. Very little play in that. Clicks in. Now it's a little bit loose compared to the Streamlight, but I can also tighten this down right here and take care of that problem. So if you do have a holster already made for a Streamlight TLR1HL or the Surefire X300, that holster will work with the GL19R. I really want to thank Phoenix for sending this out to the channel. I did an interview with Patrick at SHOT Show and I was super impressed with their products. The people working there at the booth were just awesome to talk to and uh, I can't wait to do more work with them in the future. So if you're looking for a nice light that doesn't break the bank, this Phoenix GL19R is the light to get. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.